In December last year, videos emerged from Syria that showed a new rocket threat to civilians, the Saka rocket. The Saka rocket may be modelled on the long-range multiple rockets that are widely used across Syria, but it's a cluster bomb, the only ground-launched cluster munition used in Syria so far. Each rocket contains up to 100 explosive submunitions, which are scattered as it flies through the air. It's made in Egypt by the Saka factory, part of the state-owned company, the Arab Organization for Industrialization. Egypt denies ever transferring cluster munitions to Syria. Amnesty International says that Egypt sold more than $600,000 of military weapons to Syria between 2005 and 2009. Cluster munitions are inherently indiscriminate weapons and are banned under international law for their wide area effect. The carrier munition breaks open in the air and sends hundreds of bomblets heading towards the ground. Many of these explode, many of them don't. Sometimes the failure rate's up to 40%. So part of that problem is you then have live, armed and very highly dangerous miniature submunitions, each of which can kill a person lying around on the ground waiting for anyone to pick them up, to shake them, to rattle them, to accidentally step on them, and that will kill somebody. Added to which, the very fact that these break open in the air and send the hundreds of bomblets heading towards the ground means that they're spread over a very wide area as well. So again, you're talking about an indiscriminate approach. And when you're talking about warfare and the laws of armed conflict, discrimination and proportionality are two key elements of it. And you can't afford to be indiscriminate when you're attacking an area that you know to be populated.